We bought some property in Lakeland, built two runways there, put up a couple barns that were really hangers. They look like barns. But when you'd open up the hayloft door, you would see that it was shaped to the tail of an airplane going. I would use a five, six, eight-year-old family car. And we would load 300 pieces, and we would put air shocks on a car so that the car wouldn't fall to the ground. And we would use a tow truck to tow the vehicle back. They would bring him into Miami. I personally like to go when there's a big moon up. I call them a smuggler's moon. The moon's sitting right there, and it's real big, because we landed with no lights. There was a night looking at an alternate where I watched some guys come in off Route 27. They didn't know I'm there. I'm listening to everything they say. I have night scopes and goggles. I'm watching. I could have been the man this season. They came in, and it was a ball of fire. I it was like an atomic bomb. I've never seen a flash. If you took a flash camera and went right up to your face and would click, it would not have been as bright. It blinded me because the night scope blooms. You know, the guys on the radio, oh my god, oh my god, they're dying, they're dead. And then, boom, right in front of me. It was one of these things. It was an abo. They didn't know they'd put the power wire up since the last time they'd been out there. He hit it with the top of the nose, went over the top of the airplane, took all the antennas off, and chopped the tail right off. And his friends all hauled ass. And so did he, and left a little thing in the plane that I took. A whole lot of little things. It was a rather worthwhile night, and all I did was go out there to look for an alternate. 